Under the panoramic view of the magnificent Simtokha Zong is the Royal Institute of Management. Sprawling over 25 acres, the institute, since its establishment, has been a seat of learning in management. Thousands of young men and women have graduated from the institute to become professionals, making the difference in their organization and to the country. Well, I uh, went through six months of training at RIM. Uh, after my college and after being selected into civil service. I think RIM has played a, a very important role in shaping me as a manager and as a leader. I was also a part of RIM many years ago. In fact, my batch were the first batch of graduates to attend a one-year induction course in 1988. My name is Chong Norbu. Uh, currently working in National Council of uh, Bhutan as the uh, Secretary General. I'm also an alumni of the Royal Institute of uh, Management. I'm Sonu Mongdi, uh, currently working in the Department of Public Accounts as Senior Accounts Officer. I graduated in 1999 in Postgraduate Certificate in Financial Management. I'm Nim Sring. Uh, I did uh, Postgraduate Certificate Development Management uh, from RM in 2003. And currently I'm working as a Senior Program Officer and the uh, Cabinet Secretariat under Good Governance uh, Division. Hi, my name is Kileong. I've done my postgraduate diploma in financial management from RIM in the year 2007, and currently I work as an assistant lecturer in the Royal Institute of Management. The Royal Institute of Management is born out of a vision. The Royal Institute of Management is uh, the realization of a vision of His Majesty, the former King of Bhutan, the fourth, Drug Gelpo, who during his entire reign attached the highest importance to human resource development, as indeed even His Majesty, the present King, does. The vision to create and nurture young minds to become professional managers, managers who would take up the challenges of the human resource need of a fast developing nation. The vision of the Institute is to become a premier center of excellence in management development and policy research in the region. Established in 1986, the Institute is the country's apex management training institute mandated to impart, promote, and improve professional knowledge and skills in management and public administration in the country. RIM's growth mirrors the development of the country. It had a humble beginning. It started as a small training institute in Thimpu, training the civil servants in stenography, office management, and accounting. With the development of the country, the need for human resource capacity diversified into other areas. The need for professionalism in managing public offices intensified. RIM, as the only management training institution, grew to support the human resource need of Bhutan. It gives me great pride and satisfaction to uh, congratulate the Royal Institute of Management on completing 25 years of service to the nation. It gives me great satisfaction to note that the Royal Institute of Management has provided a wide range of public administration training as well as business management trainings over the years. In particular, I'm very happy to be informed that the RIM will be launching two very important programs, these being master's programs to be entitled MPA and MM degrees. This, I have no doubt, will contribute further uh, to the human resource development at the leadership level here in the country. Once again, 
my heartiest congratulations to all, to the director and to all the members of the faculty now and those of, of the past. Tashi Delek. On this joyous occasion of the commemoration of the Silver Jubilee, uh, I offer my heartfelt salute to all the founding visionaries, chairmen, board members, directors, faculty, staff, graduates, and trainees of the Institute uh, for their vision, love, and care for the Institute. I wish the Institute a resounding success in the years ahead. I would like to congratulate the director, the faculty, the staff, and all the students of RIM Tashdile. Based on the glorious past 25 years, must look to the future and make it into the Institute of Par Excellence. And on this occasion, I have a pleasure and honor to wish and thank the Royal Institute of Management for its civil jubilee, for its contribution to the national and personal relevance, particularly to judiciary. We are very happy with the products of the Royal Institute of Management. <laughs> I congratulate the RIM for the 25 years that they have successfully played the game in Bhutan as a preliminary institute. Thank you so much. Uh, on this happy occasion, uh, I wish to extend my hearty congratulations to the RIM management, faculty and students and also wish them uh, best of luck, continued success in their uh, quest to pursue our mission, as I said earlier, to become a world-class institute. Tashi Dili. On the occasion of the Silver Jubilee of the Royal Institute of Management, I would like to commend all the staff of the institute at all levels for all the contributions you have made to making the RIM what it is today. I would also like to wish all of you the very best of luck as we aspire to be a center of excellence as the years go by and contribute to making Bhutan into a truly excellent knowledge hub that we aspire to be Tashi Dele. In 1990, under the Royal Charter, RIM assumed an autonomous status. I have been greatly honored by this appointment as the chairman of the as an autonomous institution, it was governed by a set of independent board of directors. The institute started with certificate level courses and then progressed to diploma and postgraduate diploma level. The institution developed with academic orientation and began offering a wide range of professional programs. The Royal Institute of Management is primarily responsible for the capacity development of the civil service. It is also committed in developing the human resource capacities of the local government bodies to foster decentralization. The Institute is also involved in building the human resources for the country's private sector. The Royal Institute of Management provides regular and the non-regular training programs. The regular training programs are of long duration in nature and include the postgraduate diploma and the diploma programs. The postgraduate diploma programs are targeted at the university selected graduates and include the postgraduate diploma in public administration financial management and national law. Similarly, the diploma programs are in the areas of financial management, information management system, and national law. In addition to the training program, we also undertake research and provide advisory and the consultancy services. 
the research activities are undertaken with the objective to upgrade the knowledge and skills of faculty on a continuous basis, promote innovation and teaching excellence, and provide inputs in the decision-making process on management issues. Similarly, the consultancy activities are undertaken with the objective to expose our faculty so that they can inject practicality in our training programs are discharged through the Department of Research and Consultancy. The local government program at the Royal Institute of Management is one of the flagship programs. It was introduced in 1997 with an objective to support our local government institutions at the Chuok, Geok and Songkok level. In addition, we also offered advisory services to the then Planning Commission of Bhutan when they were formulating the ninth five-year development plan. Today, we work very closely with Cross National Happiness Commission and Department of Local Governance in the Ministry of Home and Culture Affairs. We also work very closely with our development partners in the UN systems and also with the bilateral donors like JICA and Denida. For the past 25 years, the Royal Institute of Management has been doing a number of short-term programs uh, covering areas like IT, finance, store management, office management, procurement man management, etc. In future, we expect to concentrate and focus more on the management development programs. Such programs will cover various functional areas of management and will be targeted to the executives, middle level managers, as well as the supervisors in the government sector, corporate sector, as well as of the private organizations. Through such programs, we expect to enhance management capacities of our client organizations. The board of directors, headed by a chairman, provides leadership and strategic directions, including policy guidance. The board is supported by the Secretariat, headed by the Director of the Institute. The academic programs of the Institute are developed and delivered through its three departments. The Department of Management Development, the Department of Finance and Business, and the Department of Information and Communications Technology. Its 25 years of existence has been an era of truly remarkable service to the Savasum. It has made an immense contribution to the socio-economic development of the country by supporting the royal government as its main partner by taking care of all its manpower requirements at all levels and in almost all fields, uh, starting from management professions to public administration, finance, law, accounts, ICT and so on. The institute is manned by teaching faculty with professional qualifications acquired from reputed universities around the world. The faculty is involved in the delivery of training, research and consultancy services and activities. Through the use of the state-of-the-art training facilities, the training programs engage most modern pedagogical methods. While the training contents are drawn from the best around the world, it is adapted and inspired to suit the local context and need. It is uh, our aspiration and conviction to steer the Institute to meet the challenges of the ever-changing needs and demands of the management and leadership education and training in the 21st century and to make RIM a number one management institute in the world in its own way and right. In line with the vision and mission statement, the institute has planned to start master's program in public administration and management from February 2012. Two more master's program in business administration and supply chain management are also planned over the next three years adding yet another illustrious milestone and a feather in its cap, RIM will launch the master's programs in public administration and management. Drawing from the curriculum of some of the best universities in the world and with the training and research experiences it has so far acquired, 
These master's programs are set at standards comparable to similar programs in the world. True to its anthem, the Royal Institute of Management stands tall as the fountain of management knowledge in the country. Year after year, hundreds of young graduates enter the world of work as professionals nurtured and confident to take up challenges. They are the true ambassadors of the Institute, lighting up professionalism in management and administration in the country.